Mao was born in 1893 at a time of conflict between the national government, KMT, and the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. He grew up in a peasant family in Shaoshan. At Beijing University, he was introduced to Marxism. There are three books that help build up my solid faith to Marxism, Mao said. However, that faith was shaken in 1923 when the Communist Party ran into trouble. Mao, who was currently serving the CCP Congress, moved back to Shaoshang and he stayed there until 1925 when he learned of the peasant uprising in Shaoshang, Huan Province. This is considered the initial and decisive step towards the successful application of Mao's revolutionary theories. In 1927, Mao conducted the famous Autumn Harvest Uprising in Shanggasha Huan. A commander in chief. Mao led an army called the Revolutionary Army of Workers and Peasants, which was defeated and scattered after fierce battles. Afterwards, the exhausted troops were forced to leave Huan for Sanwan Jingxi, where Mao reorganized the scattered soldiers, rearranging the military division into smaller regiments. From 1931 to 1934, Mao helped establish the Soviet Republic of China and was elected chairman for this small republic in the, in the mountainous areas of Jiangxi. Jiangxi. Here, Mao was married to He Xin Zishen. His previous wife, Yang Kaihu, had been arrested and executed in 1930, just three years after their departure. The People's Republic of China was established on October 1st, 1949. It was the culmination of over two decades of civil war and international war. From 1954 to 1959, Mao was the chairman of the PRC. During this period, Mao was called Chairman Mao, or the Great Leader Chairman Mao, in the Party Congress at Lushan in July. August 1959, several leaders expressed concern that the Great Leap Forward was not as su successful as planned. The most direct of these was Minister of Defense and Korean War General Peng Duai. Mao, fearing loss of his position, orchestrated a purge of Peng and his supporters, stifling criticism of the Great Leap policies. Senior officials reported the truth of the famine to Mao, or Mao were branded as right opportunists. A campaign against right opportunism was launched and it resulted in party members <laughs> and ordinary peasants being sent to camps where many would subsequently die in the famine. Years later, the CPC would conclude that the 6 million people were wrongly punished in this campaign. In January 1958, Mao Zedong launched the second five-year plan known as the Great Leap Forward, a plan intended as an alternative model for economic growth to the Soviet model, focusing on heavy industry that was advocated by others in the party. Under this economic program, the relatively small agricultural collectives which had been formed to date were rapidly merged into larger people's communes. They may, uh, and many of the peasants ordered the, to work on massive infrastructure project and the small scale production of iron and steel. Some private food production was banned. Livestock and farm implements were brought under collective ownership. Make me consider my west side. Ain't nobody love me as a broke nigga finger on the trick. 